quite enough to make him move yet. Oh, no, he's gone for it. Down the inside, he goes once again. That was actually sensational. That was fantastic. Very entertaining. Everybody and welcome to the Microsoft GP, brought to you and partnered by Yas Heat as well. We are here at the Yas Marina circuit. We're going to be bringing you the very best that Yas Heat has to offer with two very special guests. I'm also joined by another very special guest. I am joined by Arava. Arava, how are you doing? Hey, mate, I'm good. I'm really happy to be here. I think we've got two really exciting races on our hands coming up, as you said, with the whole Yas Heat squad on Forza, which is going to be a really good level playing field for everyone. Different challenge. Also, Yas Marina, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It's a difficult circuit for everyone, no matter how much talent you have. And as we go into qualifying, we're looking at the big stars here. Maxime, one of the leading female YouTubers on the racing scene here, and a Vloche content creator as well herself. I think she's going to be a big prospect, hopefully, in the race. We'll see how she goes to Forza. Obviously, like I said, it's a very different game for everyone, really. It is, absolutely. And this man as well, Yardier, uh, who obviously represents the Yas Heat team as well. And uh, very, very prudent in endurance racing. So we'll have to see how they cope in a five-lapper situation, of course. It's going to add another sort of dynamic to their performance. And here is Jamie Chadwick, W Series champion as well. Again, so many different talents from so many different spectrums. Let's see how they can apply it in a virtual capacity. Yeah, I mean, Jamie, I think she's going to have to get used to, you know, performing with some massive pressure, obviously taking on Extreme E as well. So we'll see how she takes on this challenge. But we're raring to go for the Microsoft Grand Prix Invitational in partnership with Yas Heat. And Yas Marina looking absolutely stunning under the floodlights here this evening, or at least this evening on the game. That's for sure, as we now wait for this race to get underway. Five laps, two races, and on the second race, a reverse grid as well. It's all about to go off here, folks, as we're now about to get ready for the start of this race. Dean Woods on pole and then Ibrahim Al Mubarak in P2 as well as they get underway and head down towards turn one. Dean Woods leads the charge as they make their way into the first corner. Ibrahim Al Mubarak now solidifying his position into turn one into P2 and as they make their way through the first sector of course this winding section that can very easily throw you off. Uh, you've got to make sure you can hit every single apex, hit every sector of this track as they round the next one. A wide car there as Dean Woods now makes his way to that very very early chicane just breaking at the hundred as you can see there the cars planted on the circuit cutting on the inside there Ibrahim Amu Barak but still very very clean indeed as they're now back to round the hairpin bend oh and there's a massive dive from here Murphy there what a dive into the hairpin and he's up into P2 a lot of drifting as well with these cars it would seem rear end very twitchy it's going to make for some exciting racing I think in some of these corners but as we go down here just almost bump drafting in a way getting right up the chuff there, Ibrahim is trying to go back for P2. Meanwhile, it's all calm for the lead at the moment. Jardier in the background as well. And is there going to be a move on the inside? No. And there's uh, Jardier closing up massively. Jardier being very brave in the brakes there. He is, absolutely. They're leaving everything last minute. Eamon Murphy now powering out now as they go under the Asmarina <laughs> Bridge. And uh, heading down. Oh, my word. And a little bit of a little bit of ghosting there, which I think saved them slightly. Ibrahim down the outside as they make their way down towards the next left-hander. It's literally wheel to wheel. But Eamon Murphy with the upper hand defensively. Absolutely brilliant stuff indeed. They're going all out to attack right from the get-go. That is the beauty with these five-lapper snappy races. It allows them to go full pelt. And there you can see Yardie now beginning to go on the back of Ibrahim, who who has lost a little bit of time after that series of uh, series of manoeuvres he was trying to apply on Eamon Murphy's. They know around the next right-hander. This is Dean Woods, who are currently witnessing the onboard cameras of, heading around this next right-hander, leading into Sector 3. And uh, as they lead around the next left, Eamon Murphy in hot pursuit as well in P2. But still, a long way to go, even despite it's a five-lapper race. More action to come, Ar Arava. Yeah, but at the moment, Dean Woods doing uh, a sublime job, looking so controller there. These cars are a little bit difficult to handle, a bit of understeer, four-wheel drive. Uh, so, you know, it's going 
going to be something that drivers are maybe not used to that. They have to get used to it. But at the moment, Dean Woods comes through the final bend and he's going to be leading the first lap. Four laps to go, though, and I think anything could happen, probably will happen, because these guys are so on it, pushing so hard. Meanwhile, back behind, a bit of action here. P12, Andrea going through, drifting through the last corner. There's sublime stuff here. We're really going to see some picturesque racing, I think, here today. <laughs> Oh, it's glorious indeed. Certainly under the floodlights. It's absolutely stunning here at Abu Dhabi. And there's Andrea Capoccia oh, rounding maybe. that turn. What a little bit slippery. I think he was almost on ice skates heading around yeah, that bend. Oh, but, uh... <laughs> Some people really taken, taken to the extremes of track limits. They're hitting the cones on the left to denote the real limits of the circuit. But they're all exploring as much as they can. I'm sure as we go on through these five laps, they're just going to get quicker and quicker in a way. Some of these guys are going to adapt to Forza quicker than maybe others if they're too used to other games they usually are on and Jardier yeah, maybe won them you mentioned in the, uh, earlier you know he's won the top endurance races maybe this is where he can shine getting used to the car quicker than others and he might have a look at Ibrahim meanwhile back behind we've got a, a fight between Josh Ladd and Sasenko down the straight for P8 and P9 there Sasenko on the right Josh the lad on the left hand side and I think it's going to be neck and neck all the way down this straight and I think under breaking Josh may just have that but Sasenko with a brilliant they all try to keep it side by side and they're still going at it they are absolutely and they're hightailing it under the chicane now underneath the bridge once again seemingly leader in p7 but statsenko is starting to gain he's broken free at least from josh the awesome for now as they head down towards what will be the next left heading into the next chicane statsenko still holding on to that p8 it certainly is getting quicker you are absolutely spot on arif as we're now witnessing eamon murphy beginning to close on dean woods this is a battle that's starting to reignite nearly losing the front end there eamon murphy but like you say very used to these kinds of cars obviously four wheels and uh, putting it certainly around this track of Abu Dhabi with complete coverage over their heads as we're now witnessing Eamon Murphy whittling his way around the next left chasing indeed what looks to be Deedy Boy as they make their way towards the next right oh and behind Jardier side by side with someone there for P4 as well it's really hotting up and I think Eamon Murphy he's piling on the pressure this is going to be a pressure cooker for Dean Woods here as they enter the third lap they're drifting to, uh, they're, I think they're on the edge and Eamon Murphy I think he really reckons he could have a good shot at the race lead maybe this is it you know he's had two side to laps essentially third time lucky now is this the one where he goes for the dive at some point let's see and behind it's very close for Ibrahim he's been in the thick of it he's been in the wars this entire race he's in B4 sandwiched by Jardier there and uh, he's trying to keep on the pressure for the podium of course in this first race yeah podiums mean everything to all of these drivers Yashish there in behind of Ibrahim's as they make their way down towards the next chicane indeed you can there see uh, them winding through it and uh, I have to say, it's getting a bit too close for comfort. Yardier in P3, Ibrahim there in behind two, Yashish there in P5. All of them grouped together pretty Ooh, that closely. that is a lovely shot. Oh, it is stunning. St stunning under the floodlights, like Harry. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Can we get a three? I I'm hoping for a three-wide moment. I don't think we're going to quite get that yet. But Ibrahim might line up a pass on Yardier. And Yashish behind is just kind of sticking with them. They've got a bit of a gap then. So these three in a world of their own right now. And it looks like not quite enough to make a move yet. Oh, no. He's gone for it. Super. What a dive there by Ibrahim. A dive on with a century down the inside of Jardier. And they can, can, can it continue. It might be three way now as Ashish gets in the middle as well. Yeah, I've got to say, RKO out of nowhere indeed. As we're now <laughs> witnessing Yashish coming down towards this straight now under the Etihad banners as they make their way down towards the next left. And it's Ibrahim there. Goes for the late move on Yardier. Sensational B. Closes the door. Yashish gets <laughs> that through. He's paid the price. He's down to P5. He gave Yashish the golden ticket. And now he's up a place. Starts trying to neck down, I believe. Heading into P3. They are going wheel to wheel. Heading around sector three. Oh, not around the outside. Stuff. He's not going to... He's not, he's is he? gonna do it. He's, oh, he's tried it. He's tried it. He <laughs> tried it. just about blocked him off. And then now Ibrahim's coming back. Oh my god, this is actually top stuff here. This is a sector where usually in Formula One you can't overtake, but these guys are really going for it. Yeah, I've got to say Hail Mary here at Abu Dhabi as we're now seeing Ross Woodford in P9. He's got Josh standing behind him in P10 as they come on the next right yet again. And he's having to defend Josh, the awesome Josh Land. They're trying to coax alongside Ross Woodford as he runs wide in sector three. It opens the door. Josh, the awesome. He is awesome. Up into P9 <laughs> and breaks clear of Ross Woodford in D. Sensational stuff.
And now you've got a five pack. This is like a swarm of bees descending on Yasmarina here. This is great. And Josh, Josh Lad trying all his hardest to park the entire Yas Stadium here on the apex of the last quarter. Just about managed to do that. And now I think it's going to be Ross under pressure from behind as well as, as those other three cars get in the mix. So this could be a five way fight into turn one. There has been a move there. And Ross does the switch back though. Lovely stuff to the inside. Gets back into that P10, I think, is. Yes, it is, and continues to try and chase back after Josh Lad, the original target. And Josh, with a bit of a tail happy rear end there, they're all getting a bit tail happy, as you can see. There, Ross really having to clutch onto the steering wheel of that Porsche as he just about managed to keep this thing on the track. But they're all really wringing the neck out of these cars. You have to say, look at Ross there, really leaving look it wide open. <laughs> It's the wall. Oh, oh, a bit too much there. A bit too much for Ross. I think he was overdoing it. I gave a little golf clap earlier, but that's just over the top. As I'm now witnessing Eamon Murphy heading down the stretch now, battling for P2 on lap four of five. And still, it's Deanie Boy in P1. Eamon Murphy trying to close the gap. It is literally still a considerable gap in between them, at least for now. But it's starting. It looks like a completely different race. It looks like, you know, they're all calm. You know, P1 and 2, not, no drifting. And then you cut later down the line and they're all doing Jim Carter around the circuit. It's uh, really quite a contrast. Oh, here. it is. Absolutely. They're just so calm, collected, like you quite rightly say. No craziness. It's a battle for the lead and they are treating it just like it is as well as they ran through sector three. Very soon, it'll be the final lap, but I get a feeling, Arav, this might be the calm before the storm here. Is Eamon Murphy going to go all out heading into the final lap? I mean, I really hope so. It's a five-lap race. You've got reverse grid next time, so they've got nothing to lose, you know, and it's, uh, you know, it's for pride. You know, all these guys are in Yas Heat, so it's bragging rights within the roster, within the same team. So why, why, wouldn't, you, why wouldn't you go for, for the lead? So here we are onto that last lap, and I'm really hoping we see some sends here. We've seen some great ones further back down the line, but I want to see it for P1. Let's try and hope for, for, for our sake that Murphy can do it. But, uh, I mean, to be honest, Dean Woods has also looked so in control of the lead. So I'm just not too sure. Let's see as we ride on board with him. Yeah, he's, he's doing absolutely superbly. And I, I've got to say, fully in control of his car as he makes his way down towards the next chicane and uh, heading through. Very calm and collected. Doesn't even brush the curb there. It's so clean as he now rounds his way towards the the next hairpin, of course. And in behind as well, even Murphy again is so close in behind as well. The Delta Gap is beginning to cascade downwards. And the Irishman is looking to really power one. Yeah, it could well be a chance indeed. Uh, as long as he can get alongside, not finding maybe the straight line speed he needs. But we've still got almost half a lap remaining in this race as they make their way down towards the next next left-hander. Maybe a move on the street on the cards here, Arava. Maybe. Let's see. Dean just takes it nice and carefully. Trust that he's not going to get die bomb and he turns in all fine. But on the exit, let's see. I mean, Murphy looking a bit uh, faster out of there. Let's see if he can go for the lead in the last half. It's, it's a very tight twisting circuit, but that hasn't stopped them today so far. So there may be a move yet to come in this final sector. It's really going to be about trying to apply that pressure and seeing who cracks. You know, if he's there in the mirrors the entire time, maybe just uh, Dean Woods looks a bit too uh, far behind too many times. And you can see Emmy Murphy's right up the chuff of Dean Wood. Will he go for a move in the next left-hander? No, he won't. But as we go towards that hotel section, I think there might be a move here. About to be brutal on the outside. Yeah, absolutely. Wheel-to-wheel -wheel action heading into sector three. Dean is in trouble because here comes Eamon Murphy. Look at the Irish here on the final lap as they come around the next row. Hander finds the switch. Superb. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And Eamon Murphy gets into P1. All that Yasin endurance experience certainly paying off for him, but they're both involved in that line. Certainly of racing as we're now seeing. Eamon Murphy around the next row. Hander. Deanie Boy in P2. It's going to be a grandstand finish here in this race. Down the inside he goes. Once again, Deanie Boy, Eamon Murphy, the switchback gets it done. Superb crosses the line. He wins here at Abu Dhabi. Sensational stuff. What, what an ending there from one and two. Congrats, congrats. Like, that, was, that was actually sensational. That was fantastic. Very entertaining. And it's still entertaining here for Satenko. Going a little bit wide there. And he might be under pressure. Might lose position. Not quite. But, I mean, that was, uh, that was exactly what we wanted. That was exactly what we wanted last lap. Last ditch effort. It's a five lap kind of sprint race. You've got to go for these things, especially when there's bragging rights. And as you can see there, clearly, we're into the last corner. It's all kicking off a P11 down to 12 and 13 as well.
And there's our winner, Eamon Murphy. He wins the first race here at Yas Marina. And I have to say, what a cracking performance indeed. Here are your uh, results here. Dean Woods finished in P2 in behind Eamon Murphy. Yardier is P3. Yashish Manohar in P4. Ibrahim Al Mubarak in P5. And next race now, folks, we're going to be having, of course, the reverse grid order race, uh, which will be coming up now very, very shortly. Of course, there'll be a twist yeah, to the starting lineup, of course. Those who finish at the back will be at the front, and those who finish at the front will be at the back. So it certainly is a plot twist here as we now move into the race, and we're about to get underway. And as they do, so you can see there, the cars, the Porsche's all lined up. Andrea Capocci gets away, and then I've got to say, second place car did not get a good start. Chaos, however, chaos, like you say. Absolute madness there. I think someone had a bit of an issue, maybe got stuck in gear there at the very start, and they're all gaggling through into turn one. And it's only four or five wide as a car goes off there, and it's walking. I mean, it's classic reverse grid stuff here as the faster guys want to obviously make their way through to the front the slower guys are trying their best to keep up there and it's uh, it's almost it's literally six wide into our hand i don't actually physically understand how that's actually been possible for all of them but these guys are somehow pulling off as we go into the next uh chicane then left and right and they somehow kept it intact and everyone's just about survived there as we see sustanko drifting uh, his way through just ahead of maxime Yes, that's Senko sending it down the inside at the hairpin bend. Defends that P2 position very well. Maxime is into P3, but you cannot mess with her. She will be back to bite you, that's for sure, as they send their way down the stretch now underneath the Etihad banner down towards the next left. Statsenko, though, holding on to that P2. Here's the onboard of Dean Woods, who's in P11. Goes down the inside of Andrea Capoccia and down the inside of Ibrahim. It's a two, it's a double maneuver. Taps Ross there on the inside. Ross Woodford. Ibrahim slips through in a P8. Sensation. Stuff, oh, Dean, that was absolutely sublime. Made two moves, trying to make the third. Couldn't quite do it, but he's trying to cut through this grid like a hot knife through butter. And you know what? He's doing it quite well. Meanwhile, up the front, Jardier in P4. Cracking start. And it's a big dive bomb there from someone down behind. And it's a seemingly leader. Eh? Up into P5, Jardier keeps it cool. And he's right now pressurizing Maxime down the inside for this switch. And he's made it. Oh, what a sublime. He made that look easy down the inside of Maxime. Maxime's going to be very frustrated she allowed that to happen because Jardier really powered her into it. A podium spot. Jardy and Dean going for the very ballsy moves. I think they're both trying to vie for the most entertaining driver of this second race. They certainly are. And there's Maxime now, who's uh, in behind. She uh, certainly got Delta Blow, but uh, I'm sure she'd be licking her wounds and looking to get back into action right now. Eamon Murphy just locking up the rear slightly. Lori Rot has been, uh, and, well, certainly been able to try and pounce there on Eamon Murphy's. And now around the next right hand, a seemingly leader in P4. This is the view from Maxime's front of her car as they then make their way around the final corner oh, of and this Eamon Murphy down the inside, I think. He got the nose in. Yes, oh, he's, he tried to make a move in the last corner, and he only started to fully make the move once they got through the corner but Amy Murphy the man who won the first race round the outside will he make it through Maxime really not taken to this car it seemed finding it a challenge and she's being swamped now as Ibrahim goes round the outside and it's a sublime move oh Incredible. my word how has he done that these cars understeer so much and he somehow got the nose turned in like anything great move there and Maxime is being eaten up and she might honestly well he she is going to see Dean Woods very very soon as he is charging through up into P9 and he He's arrived on the scene. Yeah, there's literally nothing between him. Goes wheel to wheel into the next hairpin. Ben, there's a little bit of afters as well. As Dean Wood straight to screen through, loses the rear end. Oh, my word. Rossi behind with the snap down the down the inside and nearly cut him off. Here's Mikhail Stantenko now in P2. Under pressure from Yardier, who's in P3. As they make their way down towards the next hairpin. Ben, Yardier just lets himself off the power slightly as the inside line now. He takes advantage and goes through in, in the front there of Stantenko. Superb stuff. Mark of a pro. Yeah, really good move there. And now he can maybe move on onto his sights into P1. He looks determined. He wasn't really in the fight for the top spots in that first race, but I think he fancies it in this second one. Meanwhile, there's still a battle going on between P3 and P4. Sostenko is under pressure, but he's having to just park his car as well as he can. But he's wide, he's wide, and he's really made a howler of that. And also, there's a howler there. I think our leader just went off. Yeah, he did. He went off the track. Absolute scenes, Arava, heading around lap two of five. He just sort of was left on the side of the road, rejoins in behind. Not ideal at all, but Yardier has somehow managed to plant himself on P1. Remember, he was challenging for that P2 spot earlier on, and now we're seeing seemingly leader in P2 as well. In behind them, you can see there's a condition of cars beginning to rush their way through this field, but still Yardier in front for now. Statsenko's there in, P2, in P3 as well. As you can see, there's Dini Boy there in P8 trying 
kind of watch everything unfold. Loy Rods and Ibrahim going at it there in front of him there. And surely all it takes is one mistake and Dean Woods will be allowed through. Yeah, I think from the speed he's shown in the first race and so far on this one, Dean Wood might just be playing this a uh, little bit uh, patiently, to be honest. Just trying to see, you know, where the gap opens to slice through. You know, seems to be uh, a driver in control. I think a lot of these guys are being quite aggressive out there. And Dean Woods has been very calm the entire time. He's managed to use that to his advantage. Meanwhile, we've got Khalifa in P5 closing up. And uh, it's kind of becoming a four-way battle almost for that podium spot. As Jardier kind of tries to pull away. And Sostenko there in P3 is falling back a little bit so that might be a really interesting fight as we go on into the last two laps but here on lap number three back on board with Dean Woods and he's closing right up and a bit too close there and he's actually off track so he's been slowed down a little bit so a little bit tricky for him he's got uh, no penalty though just a slow down a little bit in-game mechanics but now he'll try and set himself I'm sure for maybe a pass in the last sectors of this lap but uh, that was an uncharacteristic little error there from Dean Woods. It was indeed a bit late on the brakes, perhaps, and uh, just had a little bit of a crunching blow indeed. As we're now seeing and witnessing a battle, a three-way battle, in fact. Ibrahim in P6 holding his own, but just look at Loirot now beginning to really close the gap. And there you can see Dean Woods in behind these two, just trying to, or waiting to pounce here. And uh, certainly as they make their way around this next straight here in Abu Dhabi, as uh, he I now looks forward to the joy. I feel a send coming. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is down the inside. Oh, he's gone for the two for one. And he might just make it on Ibrahim. No, they come back. He's been pushed out of the way, but then he makes the switch to the inside. He's come back again for a second dive on these two. Wow. Relentless. Absolutely relentless, Arab. Absolutely relentless. Loy Rot as well. He benefited massively after that three-way swing. And as you can now see, Ibrahim now in trouble. Dean Woods with a very majestic inside swoop. Takes it on the inside. Loy Rot wide as well. And he's managed to get compensation from the earlier in, in uh, the earlier incident. Absolutely incredible. Dean Woods up to P8. Sensational stuff there. Snaps it up. And uh, he'll be now be making his way through the latter stage of the final sector, heading into the next lap, which will be very, very shortly indeed but absolutely sensational there yeah i mean the, the drifting there i think the rear end was really quite stepping a bit too much maybe in that case for for those two and dean woods uh, you know made a uh, quick work of them but ibrahim's right there and he's still going to pile on the pressure i think uh, so let's watch on on this next lap there may still be a battle brewing there all, all, all three of them are catching up to i think the next car along p5 there so this is going to be interesting there's maybe a top five position which is up there for grabs i think at the moment all calm still in the top three so this is the battle to watch on and Dean Woods he was one of the stars he couldn't quite do it in race one for the race win but he's been a star of this race so far hasn't he Oh, he's, he's been involved in absolutely everything, Aravi. He pulled off some sensational moves in the last lap, uh, which has been absolutely brilliant. And now he's making his way through this hairpin. Ben Ibrahim making his life uncomfortable. That one, a little bit of a rear tap there. A little bit of a love tap, I think, there as they now make their way down the stretch. And uh, indeed, you do expect a lot of this, uh, certainly with these cars. Obviously, What's love the between downforce. teammates, huh? You know, they're all in your seat, you know, just a little friendly bump. Just to know, let them know you're there, that you're still there, or, you know, ready for the race. And uh, Ibrahim just trying to close up as much as we can and oh it's oh, more chaos what is going on late drama here on that four as uh, we had a bit of a sideways mobile chicane in the chicane and they all just got past it and meanwhile speaking of chaos jamie chadwick here down in p14 she's had some rotten luck today she qualified p5 but she got taken out in both instances at the start of each race so really rotten luck here for jamie just trying to get to grips with this car had some fun out there still i'm sure and you know showing that she should have, she did have some speed there because she did qualify in P5 but sometimes that's just racing the luck doesn't go your way but it is at the moment for the likes of Eamon Murphy who's in P2 not able to catch Jardy yet he's actually massively under pressure from Mohammed there in P3 he is indeed. These two are going to be battling now, heading through uh, the last stages of Sector 1. Eamon Murphy in P2 with Simi Leader in behind as well. Mohamed Akram as they make their way through the next chicane. And uh, it's still Eamon Murphy, the Irishman, on top, uh, riding his luck here as they come down towards the next hairpin bend. Very talented driver, Eamon Murphy, of course, part of the Ass Heat Squadron as they make their way out of the hairpin now, down the stretch. And it was very wide. Yeah, very, very wide there. And meanwhile, we've got a fight between P8 and P9. That's Ross. 
uh, in the background. P9 as we look on behind from Khalifa here in P8. And there's a lot of showboating, I must say. I honestly think, you know, it's the last lap of this second race. It's been a fantastic event here for the Microsoft GP Invitational by Yassi. I think these guys are just having a little bit of fun out there, a bit of showboating and showing what these cars, uh, what fun these cars can be around such a great circuit to drift around, it seems like. I never knew this circuit was so good for drifting, but I, it very much is. But Dean Woods here, P4, he's done really well, hasn't he? From so far back, P4, not too far off the podium. Give it one more lap, he would, it would have definitely been there for the podium. Oh, he's been absolutely brilliant. He's risen his way through the ranks. He's up in a P4. Remember, he was in P8 earlier on today, folks, and uh, he's been absolutely superb. But Yardier, this man as well, has been absolutely electric as he rounds his way through the final sector, and he's in the clear here on lap five of five. Yardier, or Yaroslav Honzik, as people know, absolutely incredible to give the man a clap as he rounds the, the final couple of corners, and uh, indeed as he does so, you can see there the, the stands lit up here at uh, Abu Dhabi. As we're now witnessing Yardier round the penultimate corner, round on the final bend past the paddock. He is going to take victory here in the reverse grid race. It's been sensational. Yaroslav Honzik Yardier picks up the victory here in the Yas Marina circuit. Incredible scenes here as we now witness Statsenko rounding that corner as well. Absolutely great. What a race. Reverse grid, always crazy, and it never disappoints. We've got some sublime action in that second race. Bit of chaos as well, but that's what we love to see. And that has been a really, really fun Grand Prix Invitational by Microsoft, presented by Yassi. So there's our winner, Yardier, an incredible result there in our reverse grid race, and he takes top spot here. P2 goes to Eamon Murphy, Mikhail Statsenko there in P3, Dean Woods after an incredible performance up into P4, Ibrahim Amubarak there in P5 as well, great drive. Big thank you to Microsoft for putting this incredible event on, and thank you to everybody for watching as well. The drivers enjoyed themselves. We we'll look forward to seeing you all again in the near future. See you soon. Goodbye.